around with me now several times. I have with me Stephanie Maloney, and she's the owner of what we're going to be talking about, uh, Premier Wealth today. Premier today. Estate Planning. Estate Planning today, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I get mixed up, you guys. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself, what you do, and today you brought something with you that I'm really excited about because you've got something I think everybody's really should have. Everyone should have it. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, Carol. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. And, uh, gosh, my name is Stephanie Maloney with Premier Estate Planning. We're a family business. Uh, we've been operating here in the Valley since 95. And we operate under the Supreme Court of Arizona, under the Arizona Certified Legal Document Program. So while I do have an attorney that does my documents, we still operate under that, I guess I would call it an umbrella. So, you know, our process, I feel like it's very consultive and just comfortable for people. We don't charge by the hour, offer free consultations, so. You know what I love about you is that you're all about the education side of what you do. It's all about that. It's, I think mm -hmm. that's, uh, we kind of hit on that a little bit earlier today. This is another area where you need to not put your head in the sand. Yeah. So important. Um, but the things about you that I also like the best too is, is that you do educational planning. And I want to talk a little bit about that because you really stay with your clients. It's not like, here we go, let's get this done. They're signed and because they're never done. Right. Well, we think it's, you know, it's so important, the estate planning process, people kick the can down the road forever because who wants to think about death, disability? It's not fun. The weekend comes and let's let's go have some fun. Who wants to talk about this? So we, we try to make the environment comfortable and get people to just understand that come to the table, let's talk about it. It's not as hard as you think. It's not going to be as expensive as you're imagining. Let's just talk about it and get your questions answered because when you really start talking to people about it, they don't, sometimes they think they know more than they really do, or the information that they have is incorrect, and they're kind of like, oh, that's not what I've ever thought, or, you know, because right. we've joked around for years that people get their estate planning knowledge from movies and television, and the more I work with people, it's true, you know, because you see, I saw a show this weekend, they were talking about something that was going on completely wrong, total misinformation, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, if people are watching this and they think that's how it works, they, well, we, they all, would think they were protected, and they're really not. And also right now, I think with what's been going on in the uh, world, you know, with our COVID and everything, a lot of people have been sort of thinking about it, but you still, again, thinking about it, having a conversation about it, and doing something about it are different things. Yeah. And we need to start really putting these things into our head and taking um, the initiative and ta making that phone call and calling her, having that free consultation and finding out, where do I stand? What do I need to do? You brought a couple of books with you, and I mm -hmm. want to kind of talk about those that yeah. you brought because they're really neat. Go ahead. Yeah, they're just, you know, they're fun things that I've given to clients in the past, but they are really fantastic, you know, organizers. I'm going to show the Facebook crowd. Yeah, what um, does it say? There. Now I'm dead. Now I'm what? dead. Now what? <laughs> you know, and it really, it's just a really fantastic organizer about all of the things that you need to think about around the topic of estate planning. And I always like to touch on the fact that people think estate planning is for rich people or for old people because it sounds so grand, like I need to have an estate. But it is really for every adult that's 18 years and up. And I know a lot of you are probably going, oh yeah, they're really adults at 18, but the law says they are. Mm -hmm. And you can't make a medical decision for your 19 year old child that's been in a car accident unless you have a healthcare power of attorney to do so. Unless you're in a small town that you grew up in and you know everybody, okay, that might be different, but not here in the Valley. No, and my, most places now, I mean, I've said it before when you're on, you can't call uh, Amazon, you cannot talk to them until they know who you are, and it's the same thing, especially when it comes to these hospitals, and Absolutely. they will not give you any information, and so why would you want to go through that? Why would anyone want to? Well, in the basis of estate planning documents, really all they're about is relieving liability of medical and financial professionals. Because if these documents are being used, something's happened to you. You're either incapacitated or you're dead and you can't make decisions for yourself. So now, if I'm the financial professional and somebody's child's come to me, if I don't have documentation that says I can talk to them about their mother's account, their father's account, I, I'm just on hold. But now they've told me, well, dad's had a stroke, he's in the hospital, I need to get money. So the most important a piece of paper that everybody should have is what? Yeah, I always say the healthcare power of attorney, first and foremost, because not everybody has monetary issues to deal with. 
but I think the powers of attorney for both finance and health care are the most important documents. And the phone number to call her, it's area code, it's 623-748-3920. And the oh, that's the wrong number. What number do you it's want? It's 602 371 8898. That's for the Wells Store. Okay, you got it. Well, I don't know why I'm. <laughs> it's hard when we have two companies. Yes, you know what? Here's where, here's where <laughs> I need this one. You know, when, when you have a lot of pieces of paper in front of you, what it's like? Okay, it is 602 371 8898. I thought you were testing my competency, Carol. But no, I'm testing my own right now. <laughs> So, uh, to, but let's ask, if, would it be okay if we can do one of these as a giveaway? Absolutely. Because I think it's so neat. They're beautiful books, and it's something that you will be so glad you have. So we're going to open up the lines to the yeah. audience for everyone to get entered into win. She's got two that we're going to do today. Our number here is 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. The website is Premier az.net you could check them out there but you know what i say call and have that conversation with her because uh, first of all you make it so simple because of the, your knowledge you've been doing this for i don't know how long, long now time. a very long time and so you have that knowledge you have you have attorneys there in case there's they're needed mm -hmm. but you make it so that it's not only affordable right yes but easy and that how you stay with them all along i want to talk about that too yeah i, I really like people to understand what they're doing you know if you just want to get documents you can go on legal zoom and fill out documents and they may work or they may not because you didn't have any education to let you know what you needed to do with them but I think it's really important that people understand what they're doing at a surface level I mean of course they're not gonna be able to explain everything back to me but I don't want them to understand it and then the more important part beyond that you know people will go well, I'm gonna be dead it doesn't matter but we have a really good chance of becoming incapacitated before we die and it does matter a lot you know, hopefully you could recover from your incapacitation, but you know, if you have a stroke or something, you could be out of commission in your life for months. You know, it's interesting how I meet people all the time and I talk to them and they'll say, you know, oh my God, uh, yeah, I, would, I don't need to think about that. I don't have any money, right? Mm -hmm. But then I say to them, because I've listened to you, you know, over and over again, and I say, it's not about the money. It's what is, are your wishes? What do you want? And God forbid something happens to you where you are incapacitated, what then? Well, and the less money you have, I argue, the more important it is to have this paperwork in place because your family can't handle a $5,000 oops. Now we have to go through an emergency guardianship to get the paperwork in place that we could have done beforehand, but we didn't. And now the only way myself as a, a young mother can access my husband's 401k because he's been in an accident is through the court system because we didn't have documents in place. That's we, the only place we were saving was in his 401k, which is his asset, not mine. It's under his social, not ours. And people don't think about that. They go, well, I have a beneficiary, but you're not dead. You're still here, but you can't manage. So that young parent that's 27 years old living in an apartment, maybe a single parent that has little kids, they better have life insurance and they have an estate. Because minors can't inherit without I'm telling proper you now, documents. So important. People, listen up right now. There's a lot of widows out there. Yeah. They, I don't, and it doesn't matter. Man, woman, doesn't really matter. You've got to make sure that you're taken care of, okay? And don't, don't put your head in the sand. I said it before. Uh, there are, like you said, divorcees, right? Yeah. You're a single parent. You want to make sure those kids are being taken care of, right? Mm -hmm. That you, that especially if they're 18, God forbid something happens to them money that comes involved it could be way more money and in, in the long run if you don't take care of these things than if you do right oh absolutely the cost to put documents in place after a problem has arisen it's so much more expensive right and stressful because now we're panicking we're trying to take care of our loved one and if you're dealing with a single person and I'm their person, now I've kind of had to step into that position, hire an attorney, go through this process in the same time that I'm trying to take care of my person, monitor their life, because if they're incapacitated and I'm their person, I've got to do everything they were doing. And that's very important that you don't try and do it on your own. I know a lot of people can go up online, but you know what? It's not the same. There's documents, but then there's documents that work. And that's the problem is, is that most time when you do something, you, you make mistakes. We've got our lines open for everyone to get these uh, little books here. They're planners for you to know kind of what to do and what to expect. And our number here is 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. Hang tight. We'll be back in just a minute. 
liking that? Yeah. Yeah. I had the wrong paper in front of me. It's okay. So you see the difference where mm -hmm. we're just kind of calm here? See? Yeah. It's where you can get so much more. You can keep on talking here for me. Oh, okay. okay. So um, let's talk a little bit about for what you're finding now also. With people with um, this COVID going on, are you finding that people are, are thinking about things a little bit more? Are they still the mm, same? I, I would say I have a little uptick with younger families mm -hmm. than previously, mm -hmm. which I've been really working hard to try to get. When I say younger, it's under 60, <laughs> you know, to realize that right. they need to do this. It's not just for grandma and grandpa. Right. right. But not as much as I would think. But I'm sure that the thinking is there. I have no doubt, you know, younger people are thinking about this. but. As soon as people have children, they know they need to do this work, and they don't. You know, you get ready to go on your first kidless trip, and you get the notebook paper out, and you write down what's supposed to happen if you don't come back. Right. My sister's going to manage the money for the kids. She's going to be their guardian. Oh, it's on a piece of paper, and you can also make medical decisions if, if we die. That's not going to work. Makes you feel a little better, but, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not going to work. <laughs> so it's a... Uh, and you know, the successor education, I'm going to be doing that. I'm gonna really start promoting that more too, just as a service in itself, because so nobody knows well, what I'm to do. You, that's what nobody I agree knows what to 100%. do. Nobody knows what to do. I agree 100%. You know, like. Because it just goes hand in hand yeah. with what you're So even doing. if somebody has documents from someone else, if they want successor education, I'm gonna start offering it as a service in itself because it doesn't matter about their plans. Well, you've already got so many businesses here, yeah. you know, Successor that are all is under about, that same. It's about process. It's not about details. This of their is what plan. it's about. This is basically mm -hmm. what it is. Yep. Right. Yep. So it's a. Uh, it's just important. And people, you know, they just like you said, they keep people bury their heads. You know, just like the financial side of our business too. It's like people that haven't made changes when that big correction comes, they're going to be shaking their heads again. It's coming. Printing press is running out of ink. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a. Uh, What's that? Right. Okay. So I also wanted you to said that the other thing was the important thing was the life insurance. Um, um, I just want to make sure that I'm getting to everything that you want me to get. I know I said that we talked about. Well, the I just talk about the life insurance on this side because if you have a young or any family, if that is their big asset that they're leaving behind for minors, which it often is, hopefully they have it, children can inherit assets without a trust. Okay. And so people think a revocable trust is for rich people. It's not at all. But it's just thought of because that's what you see in movies and TV. And I, I mean, it's really, I'm starting to think that really is true. <laughs> Especially when I saw the show I was watching the other day, I'm like, if people hear this and think that's the way it works, no wonder people just, they have all this misinformation. And of course, you get on Google and you can go down lots of holes oh, yeah. there. Welcome back, everyone. Our lines are open here for everyone to get uh, these books that we have, a couple of them that we're giving away today. And it's basically peace of mind planning, and I love this one here, too. Uh, it, it's important information about, you know, what your, what your belongings, what you, what you have, uh, your business affairs. It's way more than just, you know, just your wishes. It's a lot more than that that you're offering for everybody today. So we're going to let everyone call throughout the rest of the show. Our number here, 602-277-5369, and toll free it's one eight six six five three six eleven hundred. They're pretty, and there's something that I believe that everybody should have, and their office yep. right there in your office, no doubt. Let me put it this way so everybody on Facebook can see it too. It's yeah, really you just really don't cool. you know people don't you don't know what you don't know until you have it. I mean that's the case for everything, and everybody's story is different. Yeah, and so when you know that you need these documents in place, and you make the choice to keep putting it off and not do it, and then something happens. You can't get mad at the law profession or any of that because you made a choice. You chose not to do anything. So that is a decision and the results will be what they are. Now your number direct, it is 602-371-8898. Her website is premieraz.net. 
call and have a consultation with her. It's free to do. What's it look like? They call you up, you sit down, you meet them. How does it go? How do you work yeah, with them? So, now? of course, during COVID, we, we got into the virtual space, which has been fun. It's time saving for everyone and it works just as well. So, we either do virtual, phone calls fine too, or in person. I always love that. And I always reserve two hours for a first meeting. And we're just going to have a conversation because I think it's very important too that you enjoy who you're working with to do this work because it's very sensitive for some families and you don't want to just be annoyed with the practitioner that you're using so you're getting to know each other making sure you enjoy this person enough and getting your questions answered and it's really that simple and do then you, do you also like to sit down with the families I do um, one of my processes that I really encourage it's not a requirement to work with me but I really love to do what I call successor education because most of us, everybody out there listening, you probably haven't had a loved one become incapacitated where you had to step in and do the work. And I'm not talking about the caring of the person. I'm talking about the work of managing their lives, taking care of their bills, just taking care of everything they were doing before they became incapacitated. So dying is easier. You're dead. Now someone has to settle your state. And we're gonna talk about that too. But in both scenarios, I'm, I'm letting your people know and if you decide to do revocable trust, the people within that document are called successor trustees. And so I'm doing education, allowing them to see what the process is gonna be like. If one of their family members suffers an incapacity, what does that look like? And then if once they're finally dead, because of course every one of us are dying, and what's that process gonna be like? And if you have the right documents in place and you've made your plans, it's not a time to panic. You know, you just have to go through the process. It's an emotional time. So when you have everything in place and everyone knows how to use it, it's a lot less stressful. Oh, and I and can so, tell you. So many people don't even know if their people have documents. When you talk about peace of mind, what? Well, you know, like if you're, I, I have two my parents. My, I have a sister. And I'll ask clients that I meet, you know, if their parents are still here. And then it'll come out eventually. I say, well, do you think your mom and dad have documents? Well, I don't know. We don't talk about that. Right. Nobody talks about this. So you're an only child. And I would say at least 90% of my clients choose their children to be their people. Right. They have a nice relationship. Why not? There's no reason they can't do the work. Mm -hmm. So if you're an only child and you have a nice relationship with your parents, chances are they'll be looking to you to make these decisions. So if they have documents and you don't know about them or where to find them, or if they're up to date, or if they're on file where they're supposed to be, it's not gonna be very helpful to you. And once you do it, the lift is incredible off your shoulders. It's amazing of yeah. how you feel. It's, it is true peace of mind. And it's not done, let me tell you. And that's where you come in too. Once you do it, and we gotta say dust off, dust off your, uh, your documents that you have. Yeah. Because those documents you have may not work anymore. Yeah. And it may be that you have to change things. Yeah, you know, if you've moved from another state, it might be a great time to have a review of existing documents. Chances are your documents are fine. You may need to do some updating to reflect a new state if you decide to make this your residence. Um, your healthcare documents are very state specific. So I like to have healthcare documents for every state my client spends more than two months in. Because and then there's a have, lot of people that, you know, that don't spend how, time. At every, oh, right. Go ahead. At, well, the power of attorney for Oregon for healthcare is 14 pages long. For here, ours is six. They say about the same thing, but I just think it's a good idea when you're in a state for any period of time, might as well have their health care document. I think it's important. Um, and you know, I've had clients sitting in front of me that were told their trusts were no good anymore because they were here now and they had to do a whole nother. That was just somebody trying to sell them a new trust. That's absolutely false. There's nothing wrong with most people's trust. Travels around the world with them. They're gonna put assets in and out of it through life. It doesn't require a ton of maintenance. But it does require being looked at yeah, I think it's at least once a year. I call getting getting dust off your trust or getting dust off your documents. You know, just, I like, um, you know, when people do revocable trust estate plans, they have a binder. And I like that binder to be basically like the recipe for their life. Because if something, like for my husband and I, something abruptly happens to us. One of us are dead, one's incapacitated. Guess what? If it's me and I'm incapacitated, I can't tell my kids who are my people what to do. But they know about our book. We've gone through it. I've shown them everything. Yeah, it's gonna be stressful. Yes, it's gonna be a horrible time, but at least they're not gonna to have to panic. They know where our bank accounts are. They know where things it's are. It's time to put on our big girl panties. And you know, so many you know? times, and it's getting better, it is getting better, but so many times 
people, because we've been doing this work, we started with the World War II generation, you know, 30 years ago doing their planning, because the average person is still about 70 that we sit with. And so many of them used to feel like, well, the kids just want to know what they're getting when I'm gone and all this. And it's really not about that for most kids. When they're asking you, hey, mom, do you have a will or trust? Oh, you just want to know what you you're going to get. You want my money. It's not about that for most people. They just want to know what your wishes are. I have shared with you before about my sister. I didn't know she doesn't believe in cremation. She wants to be buried. I've always thought to be cremated. So I don't know. And I everybody just, has different I thought thoughts. She thought like me. I don't know why. So when we had that conversation, I was just kind of like, oh, my goodness, does CJ, your husband, know this? Oh, no, he's not. I can't get my sister to do her documents. Fifteen years I've been trying. So people see, just don't do it. People really do it. <laughs> I, can't why, I can't but, give it away. I can't give it away. It is the most important thing that you need to do. And right now it's the beginning of the year. It's a new year. And we're all right now thinking about what we can do and getting our documents, our the other documents, we're doing our taxes. Why not get, get your old documents? If you had any, get them out. Have her look at them. It's a free consultation. And most often, they're probably fine. You might need to update a couple of different things. Yeah. No big deal, and it's done. Also, I do think, though, that everyone, I don't care how how old, how young you are, these uh, peace of mind planners, oh, I just love them. Yeah, this is not just a small thing. This is a nice real book. It's a nice book, and it's important information about your belongings, what you need to do with that, uh, business affairs, and your wishes, so much more. You really need to, I, I think everybody should have it. Our number here is 602-277-5369, and toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. You know, it would be really neat if that somebody that was listening called in and said you know I want one of these just for themselves to say not only for myself but why don't I give this like to my parent yep. like here wouldn't that be a great way to start the conversation right. or email them or send them a letter saying you know what I really think it's a good idea that we start working on your wishes what are your wishes yeah, I have a good way about me to helping like when I'm dealing with my peers I would say under 50 and they're kind of in that spot where they don't know if their parents have documents. They don't know really how to start the conversation. There's a lot of cultural differences about estate planning, too. Some people feel as soon as they do this, they're dead. I mean, they really feel like, well, I just signed my death certificate. When's it going to happen? I mean, it's. I never felt like that because I'm a very practical person, so I just think it's just something you get done. So you have to be respectful of all of that. But I have good ways of coaching people through how to get the conversation started. And successor education is a really good opportunity because a lot of people of my age, they're often picking their parents who might be in their 50s, 60s, or a little younger than me to be their people. They're usually in their 30s. And they don't want to ask their parents. So part of successor education, we're just kind of talking about all this. And generally it'll come up, oh, well, do we need to do that? Or it sounds like maybe we might need to trust too. Or, so it just starts the conversation where it's not as threatening. The number here to call, 602-277-5369, and toll-free, it's 1-866-536-1100. I want everyone to have one of these. I think they're super. Uh, you could call her direct if you want. She'll do a free consultation with you. It's 602-371-8898. The website is Premier AZ. Dot net. I love your success education and what you do with that, successor education. But also, I love the way that when you work with people, you kind of talk to them about also doing things like you told me, videos. Yep. So that's a yes. good idea. That you really just don't leave it as, let's get these papers done and let's go. Well, I'm always trying to offset issues in the beginning, or you know, when the people are gone and they can't speak for themselves anymore. And unfortunately, we have a lot of people that we work with that are disinheriting for whatever reason, you know, no one, it not, happens. none of us are entitled to our parents' money. The only person that is entitled is a spouse. But of course, most families are leaving to kids, but many of them are, they've had issues with their children their whole lives. And they get to a point of where they need to disinherit. And that's where we talk about doing the videos. I always suggest that they should get a letter from their doctor saying they're competent. And to write a letter or make a video to that loved one saying, look, I love you, but I've loaned you half a million dollars over your life and you've never paid it back. You've received your inheritance. Love, Mom and Dad. Perfect timing. The number <laughs> to call here for the book is 602-277-5369. It's premiereaz.net.